Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us, and thank you, uh, Coach Joe, for uh, you know taking this initiative to talk about uh, emotional intelligence, especially at this stage. Uh, Fazat Tugusimic, actually, it started when we saw all the uh, governmental entities when, when they announced uh, the corona and the problem of COVID-19, they all got together. And they were like, uh, you know, kind of ma'ba'ad wa milta'ad. Yani, kill the wazarat li awwal marra ashufhum, they're working in, in, uh, in harmony. And as a team, helping each other, really working. Uh, so I remembered, you know, Sugi Simic, and, uh, which is in Seattle, Washington, Mike's Place Fish Market. Uh, they had a similar, like, they were going bankruptcy. So they did a brainstorming session, and they decided on four strategies. And those four strategies made them world-class fish market. Wow. يعني الحين لما تروح سياتل تروح حق الكونسيات بالفندق تقول له وير كان اي جو تو سي ثينجز يقول لك سبيس نيدل تاور والفيش ماركت اند ماني اورجنايزيشن ليرند فروم ذا فيش فيلوسفي انكلودينج هوسبيتالز باي ذا واي لايك سمثينج جوردن ان مين ذيس از ا فيري سبيشاليزد هوسبيتال اي جيف يو ذا ديتيلز And, and uh, they basically what they do, the, the strategies, you choose your attitude, okay? Every morning right. you wake up, every morning you have a new life, you wake up smiling and you're choosing your attitude. You don't go to the Twitter and see the news and, and ruin your attitude. Second, be there. When, whatever you're doing, be there, be, be at this moment, you know, don't go somewhere else. Uh, uh, third, make their day, make your colleagues, your relatives, your brothers, sisters, your sibling, whatever, you know, make their day. Whoever is in contact with you, make their day, even if they are animals or plants. Uh, the fourth and the last, play. Enjoy yourself, man. This is your life. Enjoy it. Just, just you know, uh, enjoy life. So from those four strategies, we, we change cultures and organizations and... Uh, Uh, you know, we, we all know when we are happy, when we are excited, our immune system get, goes up or, yeah. or gets stronger, and we perform better. Absolutely. So, so, so we, we did that the first day, and then every week we are giving uh, another session. Last time we had Selwa, she did a session on uh, NLP. Now you, uh, Mr. Joe, is doing the, uh, N, uh, the uh, EQ, uh, the... Uh, the emotional intelligence. Yeah. Uh, so these things are all needed, you know, nowadays. Absolutely. For especially the people who are staying home. You know, sometimes they have nothing, they're just staying home there. It's better they get educated in these things and start applying some of them because they have the time, you know. Absolutely. Before we were very busy, you know, at work or what have you. Now we're home absolutely. and we have to be um, home. Half time, yes, absolutely. <laughs> So thank you, thank you for that. And again, thank you, thank you for the Thank you, for thank the you, Joe. Thank today. you, Coach Joe. Yeah. So we are, so I asked you to vote on a question and uh, some of you have basically uh, got into the system and answered the question. And we have a mixture of emotions that have basically uh, been reflected on the screen in front of you. So we have from fantastic, nice, excited, alhamdulillah, to bad feeling, to happy, to positive, to fear, to energetic, to cheerful, to uh, happiness, amazing, good, which is an amazing mixture. Now, here is why I do this. So I, I, had, I have shared this with, uh, with, uh, with Hamza a while ago. So I'm actually collating sort of data. And if you can see behind me as well, I have my research board and my research wall where I, am, I have been doing different researches um, since the whole COVID uh, situation began. And I think one of the things that everyone needs to know is this is not just you. This is literally everybody. So I have been running weekly sessions uh, for the past almost six weeks. And I have had people from Canada, from US, from Turkey, from China, from Singapore, uh, from Mexico, Germany, Qatar, Dubai, Kuwait, everywhere. 
And this is the reflection that basically we get. We get a mixture of emotions and believe it or not, sometimes we ourselves can be feeling excited and sad at the same time. Uh, and, excuse me, coach. Uh, we don't see the result. Are you sure? Oh, you don't? I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, all, I'm only, I see the, the menti.com okay. and the barcode. I don't know. Anybody else see that? No. Or maybe it's only me. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, you got Save. the cloud. All right. So, uh, wow. So many people are excited. To... That's good. huh? Mm -hmm. Which is absolutely fascinating. And hopefully, yes. inshallah, yani, towards the end of the session, we will be able to pull everyone into the alhamdulillah excitement and excitement and happiness yes, yes. so uh so thank you again for being open about this and we're going to kick start our session so just let me uh, admit in bashar I, I'll, I'll do the admission i'll do the admission okay you go ahead sir yeah so before i start of course uh, this is this session is in collaboration with knowledge consulting which is, which is headed by my, my friend uh, Hamza Taqi. And again, I'm very, very happy to be part of the session today. Uh, so please, if you have any questions, either post them in the chat or feel free to stop me at any point in time. So since this whole thing started, I started to think, so what, 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 how can I explain this to people? Especially that in the Arab world, we are usually disconnected from our emotions or we're asked to hide our emotions. And that's what we're going to be focusing a lot on today. When we speak about harnessing our emotions during the current, uh, the current situation, what I started to think about is those emotions that we're starting to feel are nothing but droplets of water. And they form this really strong stream inside of us. We are the ones that are supposed to choose what we're going to put those, this water inside. The water is amazing because it takes the shape of anything you put it inside. You put it inside the cup, it'll take the shape of a cup. You put it inside a bottle, it'll take the shape of a bottle. Emotions are the same thing. However, the container is up to you to decide what container you want to put it in. And it all depends on the day. Some of us have days where we feel bad, out of control. Some of days we feel really great and amazing and we put them in that really expensive bottle that's from Italy. And on the other days we put them in those really cheap plastic bottles that are not, not good for nature, not good for us, not good for anything. So, so today we're going to basically be covering what are we experiencing today? We're going to be speaking about emotional intelligence. I'll introduce you to the model that we use. Or oh, inshallah, Khui Hamza will speak more in depth on how can we provide the whole complete information to, to, to the people in Kuwait, Bithnallah. We're yeah. going to dive a bit deeper into uh, self-discovery. And I'm going today to focus on the area of knowing self. And how do we do this when it comes in emotional intelligence? Inshallah, if we have time, I will cover a bit from NLP, which is what we call the mental map. So, now I'm going to put you in breakout rooms for two minutes. And I want you to look at the images that I have placed in front of you right now. And I want you to pick one or two of those images. And in your breakout rooms, I would like each one of you to share which picture from those pictures really affected them? And why did it affect you most? So what does it represent to you, this picture? So all of those are pictures taken after COVID began. And now it's time for us to basically look at what do those pictures mean? So I'm going to break us into two uh, rooms with four participants in each, just for two minutes. So if each one of you could talk for 30 seconds or 35 seconds, about one of the images and what does it mean to each one of you? All right. Uh, we have a person joining. So yes, I, I have I added him to one of the rooms. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. So, Hamza, I will move you to breakout room too.
All right, welcome back, everyone. Thank you. Right, so uh, if anyone could give us a bit of a brief about the discussions they had in their breakout rooms, what were the most pictures that stood out? Well, I'm Afzal Khan, everyone. I talked about the picture from the picture. Of course, the memory of the picture has affected me وايد و سبريتشولي و ريليجيسلي طبعا اشوف مكان عبادتي الكعبه المشرفه مغلقه حاليا طبعا القبر الجديد اكيد عرفنا انه ات ويل بي ري اوبند فيري سون اور ات از اوبند بس اجين ات از فيري فيري تاتشي اور هيرتينج تو لوك ات لوك ات ذا باراماديك ستاف اند ات ذا سيم تايم اي واز اكسبلينينج تو Hamza about the uh, stalled aircrafts, planes on the ground. They were the mighty machines made by humans, and now they are stalled on the ground uh, for an un unseen enemy, a virus. Allah is there, Al Jamia, Allah is there, Jamia. That's it. That can the effect. Ajmal and all the pictures, of course, were very good. بس الاكثر شيء كانت الممرضه والكعبه Thank you very much Khan for sharing. So the same thing was on our side as well the, the nurse and uh, al-Kaaba as well. And honestly speaking like I I I don't I don't I don't practice Islam but I always say I am the son of the region. I am born and I've lived here my whole life and even Ramadan like we fast as well yeah it's, it's a practice we we have we have carried on in the family for a while and yani walid allah irhamah he he basically <laughs> <laughs> he basically told us that we are living here and we need to be part of the culture and you cannot be part of the culture you cannot go for an iftar if you're not fasting it just doesn't make sense so uh, we are invited on a day to day taban basis before <laughs> The whole COVID happened. It was the best time. I know, Allah, I know. Al Gamat is my week. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is probably the first year uh, since, since we, 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 we started the, the practice. Yani, we, uh, we haven't been with people and we haven't been yani, celebrating yeah. Ramadan. Not, uh, uh, Ramadan is not as usual. Yeah. It is not. It is not. Mm -hmm. And Uh, but but he, here here is like a bit of a reflection that I did like during my research as well. If you can see behind me, there is a picture of the nurses in Italy. Yeah. And this is one of the nurses who got really exhausted and tired and she basically broke down and slept during her shift. Yeah. Um, but when I look at all those pictures, I also, before, before the healthcare, I used to work in the aviation industry. And yeah. when I look at the pictures of the aircrafts, We know, like in aviation, we always say when the aircraft is on earth, on, on the ground, it is dying. Like its yeah. house is the sky. And then you look at the airports and the amount of money that we have spent on those airports. And now they are only a big parking lot for the aircraft. Mm. The most big, the most technologically advanced, uh, the most crowded place to nothing but a big parking lot. for the machines that Khan, you were talking about. But I will share with you towards the end of the session, the positive side of what we see. And when I looked at Al Kaaba, to be honest, I actually teared when I saw it, because mm. I know for a fact that, and all, all the religious places, wherever people used to go to pray to God, yeah. people used to go there he cannot find any other place to go to they used to go to the mosque they used to go to the church to, to the church they used to go to any place to find an answer to find guidance true. but when I look at the picture today the only thing I can see it and we all we always take the the, the positive messages that God sends us because there yes. is nothing but there is positive stuff that God is trying to send us. And I was thinking, what if this year, because Ramadan, because of life and how it has become, Ramadan turned to that place where we are looking at how are we going to invite more people in? How are we going to have the biggest buffet? Where is the best place we're going to go for iftar? Maybe this year God wanted us to build our own internal mosque and church. He wanted us to build something deeper inside us. 
maybe he wanted us to connect more with our families and have an enclosed iftar just with our families because maybe we might have been missing that uh, maybe it's time for us to realize how grateful we should be when the mosques open up again to to know that maybe there there is a stronger power telling us build your own mosque and in, mosque inside your heart like one of the sessions we had a couple of weeks ago uh, i basically told them خلي السنه تكون خلي هالفتره تكون مشروعك ابني مسجد في قلبك وامشي to to build a mosque deep down inside your heart and walk with it everywhere you go is your mosque your mosque is being carried with you so this is basically a bit of reflection on the picture yes of course when i started off with it it was a bit too scary but as i started to look at each picture there is a very strong message that is being delivered to us cool. so another another uh, vote that i would like you to go through is now you can go again to the same code so you can use the same code i'm just going to switch the the slides on the main uh, screen so now you can just visit the same page again but the question now has changed so i would like you to please vote on the new question <clears throat> Can we choose more than one or only one? Only one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are you able to see the results screen, uh, Hamza? No, not yet. Are you uh, did you close? I will share it right now. Okay. Oh. We're still waiting for the rest. Okay. I don't think the rest uh, will participate. Okay. I, I'm sure they're using their phone. Ah, uh, okay. They don't know how to go out and oh, come back. Still, oh. there's still, do we have there's still somebody else. Yeah, so yeah. We have answers dropping. We'll give it uh, another couple of seconds. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. Force change is change. winning. Natural change is also there. Alhamdulillah, no one sees it as a disaster. <laughs> uh, needed change as well is not voted on. Yeah. So, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go back to the main screen. Okay. So the one thing that is common between all of those answers, even if you would have chosen disaster, is that it's change. Mm. That is the one common thing. Change is the one common thing between all the options. Things are going to change. And while I was um, doing my research, I thought... Let me go back in history and I picked and I chose some of the difficult times that human race has been through and what actually came out of it. So in 1847, I don't know if you've heard about this or not, there was a disease that came out called the Black Death of Childbirth or the Black Death of Childbed. So the Black Death of Childbirth or Childbed basically lasted for almost seven years where all the mothers whenever they went in and they gave birth to a baby some sort of infection would hit them and in two weeks time they would die two professors uh mr uh so the first professor was uh samuel uh, willis if uh, the, the name just someone i have here yeah so oliver wendell holmes and ignis samuel 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 ways they both set on a journey so professor ignis was from hungary and he was in europe basically oliver wendell holmes was in the us and they both set on their separate journeys trying to find out why are the mothers dying after they give birth and it came to an extent and they had this whole long list that they would compare between hospitals and at one of the times professor ignis started to think in hospitals where the midwives 
were giving were supporting the mothers in giving birth the death rate was really lower than the hospitals where the doctors were supporting the mothers give birth and they started to think is there a problem with the doctors in malbusin at dakatra do we need to prevent the doctors from actually making any op- operating on pregnant mothers and then they discovered that so professor uh, oliver wendell holmes asked them to start washing their hands because he started to see that they're doing autopsies on dead bodies and then they leave the autopsy rooms and they go into the operating rooms and he told them would you mind washing your hands in that process where you're going from one operating room to another because back then yani they still hadn't discovered bacteria and the whole microorganisms uh, that cause diseases and so on and so forth but he thought maybe because there is dust on their hands or maybe because their hands are not clean and they called them crazy and it wasn't until the doctors after almost seven years decided to start implementing hand wash that the black death of childbirth disappeared so there was a lot of cases that were reported we've been through world war 1 we've been through spanish flu asian flu bird flu sars we've been through the launch of facebook believe it or not <laughs> was a major change in our <laughs> life i yes. still remember my mother shouting at me telling me you're not going to post your pictures online this is like people are going <laughs> to see you everywhere <laughs> so and today you find facebook literally everywhere along with instagram and that's how we we connected hamza as well so so it changed the whole face of how people connect with each other apple the launch of apple i also remember i was working in one of the organizations uh, in telecom in dubai media city and um, we had a common food court like in the media city there was a number of food courts and i used to watch the employees from nokia walk mm. in with their tag and they're walking in mm. like they're the kings of the world you know because mm. everyone carried the nokia phone and i remember i used to always think like they have the best discounts at restaurants they have the best discounts everywhere just because of the nokia staff and just because they refused to get on the boat of change with the launch of apple they dropped they died So that was another major change in our lives and of course the 2008 stock market crash where no one knew what was happening no one had the experience of how to deal with a market crash and hence people started to fire people from their jobs close down merge and we tried to survive and we did and here we are Can I show you the Nokia? You have a Nokia? Yes please. <laughs> and this is the 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 ultimate Hold on. Can you I'm, see it? I'm trying to get my screen up. Yeah, oh my god, yes, I loved. Oh my god, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> this my is favorite it. one. I had yeah. two of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was, was it. like the yeah. best. Yeah. And see Nokia, I mean I happened to see this curve. I I was working for Nokia. Right. And I remember uh Mr. Olella uh in the last conference that i attended i think it was 2006 yes and he was introducing the new version for this and he came in with a pack bag filled with the uh, with the stuff like uh, you know like uh, uh, dictionary the uh, webster dictionary uh, walkman all these things and he threw them in the floor and he said i don't need it i have this everything is this you know in here yeah. <laughs> people were clapping after one year things changed absolutely as you said yeah absolutely and still yet they refuse to admit that they did not agree just to do one simple switch from a keypad to a touch screen and in the final he said we did not do anything wrong but somehow we still lost yeah very true and i very hope true. Yeah and I hope that covid will not be the same because as I said when I started the session our issue is not with the pandemic 
we managed to pull through each and every one of those changes. Yani, we don't, we don't change uh, like the virus. The virus changes rapidly and they evolve. We don't evolve as quickly. Yeah. But we have the power to pause and reflect, compare and find ways to accept and move forward. In some cases to fight back. And in some cases to duck down, cover our heads with our blankets and pray. But it depends on how we absorb the situation and it majorly depends on the patterns and how our emotions drive us. So that's why I say our issue today is not with the pandemic. I really hope that we have learned our lessons and learn how, that our, how to use our emotions to drive our behaviors better. So with six seconds, the organization that I am certified with in the US, we say that emotions drive your behavior and your behavior will drive your performance. So I really hope that we start to think, how are we going to use our emotions better this time? So what is emotional intelligence? We define it at six seconds as the effective blend of thoughts and feelings. So the blending of the thinking and feeling so that you can develop optimal relationships with yourself and with others. We cannot build good relationships with people when we don't have a good relationship with ourselves. فقد الشيء لا يعطي. We cannot. Absolutely. كل كل intelligences of the world are built on self and then others. So we speak about the head and the heart and the hand. The head who reflecting the thought, the cognitive development, the feeling, the whole emotional development, will actions, the whole behavioral development, the fusion of all the three. اجتماع الثلاثة مع بعض هو اللي بيقوي علاقتك بنفسك وعلاقتك مع الغير. This is what will help you to build a stronger relationship. When we are under stress, we don't do a lot of the thinking. <laughs> a thought disappears. We start to get driven by our emotions, but we don't normally accept. And it's our emotion that made us do it. It's very simple to an extent that I can give you a very simple example. When you send that email when you're angry at work and after you click send, you're looking for the recall button because, <laughs> oh my God, why did I send that email? Oh my God, what are they going to say about me? Yes, Walid, I'm going to, to, to dive a bit deeper into the المشاعر على على تفكير الإنسان. نسميها اختطاف العقل يعني العواطف تختطف عقلك. So in six seconds we have a model we call the KCG model. I will explain what the KCG model basically means. بس احنا نركز على ثلاث أشياء في الموديل. أول شيء the action. What do we do? The action that you basically do. How you do it. كيف التم طريقة التنفيذ. And the purpose. شو هو الشيء اللي قاعد يغذي الطاقة اللي داخلك أنت نسميها مثل ال 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 compass. What's compass in in Arabic? The compass. The compass. The compass. Yes. 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 It is your compass. The 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 compass. So the KCG basically stands for know yourself, choose yourself, and give yourself. معرفة النفس, عطاء النفس, و اختيار الاختيار. Those three that help you define how your emotions help you work towards being a better person. And of course, اليوم بنركز على معرفة النفس. Oh, know yourself part in the model. Kill, so every part in the model, kill component, know yourself, choose yourself, give yourself, يحتوي على competencies. اللي هي تساعدنا نفهم احنا في هالشق من, ال, من, ال, من النموذج 
شنو الاشياء اللي تساعدني ان انا اتطور في هالشخص معين في النموذج عندنا انهانسينج ايموشنال ليتريسي هاي بيكون التركيز عليها اليوم ان شاء الله في الـ في الهاف ان اور ذات وي هاف له وريكوجنايزنج باترنز اللي هي البارت اللي خصها في معرفه النفس وي جوينج تو فوكس ذير توداي ان شاء الله ان ذا فيوتشر سيشنز ويل هاف ا فوكس اون تشوزنج سيلف كونسيكوينشال ثينكينج نافيجيتينج ايموشنز موتيفيشن اند اوبتيميزم وهذا الجزء اللي قلنا how you choose to implement طريقه التنفيذ و finally give yourself يعني كلمنا عنها اللي هي direction or the compass developing empathy and pursuing noble goals فاول شيء انا لازم اول شيء نتعرف على طريقه انتاج العواطف how are my emotions basically uh, produced طبعا احنا اولويز لما نتكلم عن العواطف وعن الايموشنز سبيشلي ان ذا ارب وورلد دائما يكون الشكل اللي يتكلموا فيه عن العاطفه القلب ذا هارت رايت ناو ذا 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 نيوز از ات از نوت وير ذا ايموشنز ار برودوسد يور ايموشنز ار برودوسد ان ذا برين او اول اوف اس هاف ايموشنز كلنا تحركنا العاطفه بنتكلم شوي بعد بعد شوي على العالم العربي and the arab world because that's where i live and how we deal with emotions uh, but for the starters how do emotions basically start to happen and how do we build that inside our heads فلو سويتوا يدكم if you do if you make your hand like that in, in a closed fist and you open it up you'll find your thumb This is what you see as the amygdala. خلي your thumb keep your thumb closed inside. Aywa? Exactly. Yes, Hamza. That's it. And if you put, place it here, you'll start to see exact representation of the picture I have on the screen right now. So your amygdala is what we call is your mm. thumb. It's a representation of your thumb. Mm. And when okay. it's closed is when my thinking brain is working. يعني كل شيء اوكي وكل شيء حوالي اوكي. الثالمس اللي هي الاير ترافيك كنترول اللي هو يساعد السنسز تو بيك اب اني ستيمولس ثرو ماي سنسز يعني من النظر او من السمع او من الشم حاسه الشم او حاسه اللمس تلتقط اي نوع من انواع الحركه او اي شيء حواليك يبعث الانفورميشن على الثالمس، الثالمس يفرشها على الكورتكس يترجم كل هاي الداتا الى معلومات عشان المخ يقدر يفهم وات داز ات مين منها تنتقل الى الاميجدلا اللي هي نسميها السكند برين او المخ الثنائي لو تحبون او الليمبيك برين اللي هو معقل العواطف الايموشنال هيد كوارترز اللي هي الثمب اللي كنا مم. نتكلم عنها مم. فهني كل شيء get stored in terms of emotions, attention or memory وهل جزء من المخ اللي هو المخ الثانوي أو the secondary part it's 80,000 times faster than the normal thinking brain يعني في الحالة الطبيعية هذا يكون شكل البروسس أستلم المعلومة تروح الثالمس يوديها على الكورتكس cortex تترجم للمعلومات اللي انا محتاجه يروح على الاميجدلا يشوف هل في شيء من هالمعلومات موجود عندي قبل هل في عاطفه معينه that it reflects with this certain situation وبعدين يتم الاكشن اللي هو الموديل اللي شفناه من شوي think feel and act اللي كانت اللي وليد اللي تكلمت عنه من شوي اللي هو اختطاف العقل يستوي في هالجزء من المخ. فلو احنا كنا مسويين يدنا شيء من شوي اللي هو الفول ثينكينج برين الحين بنفتح يدنا و all that is going to be in action is your inside brain اللي هو الليمبيك برين. بهالحاله لما ماي ليمبيك برين يبتدي يشتغل يعني لما انا اتخطف عاطفيا when I am emotionally hijacked اللي يصير عندي ان الكورتكس جيت سكيبت هذا الجزء اللي هو يترجم المعلومات للمخ ما تروح للمعلومه يروح ليش ليش كوتش جو مو وقت يعني مو وقت ما عنده وقت 
لا بقول لك ليش this is this is هذه مثل ما يقولون it's a gift and not a gift يعني الله سبحانه وتعالى عطانا عطانا إياها كهدية نستعملها بشكل ينفعنا ولكن بعد لها أثار سلبية وأثار إيجابية عطني بس ثواني وبشرح لك ليش أم سو so احنا كبشر اللي يستوي ويانا ان احنا نخزن انماط معينه في الحياه فانت اليوم لو بتطلع من بيتك على الدوام عقب تقريبا ليتس سي شهرين او ثلاث شهور في خلال السنه بتوصل الدوام في يوم او بتوصل البيت في يوم بتقول انا كيف وصلت بهالسرعه انا ما كنت مركز في الطريق الاشاره كانت خضراء لما قطعتها ما ركزت Something happens, you skip. You don't skip. اللي حركك الميموري خلاص المخ مو بمحتاج إنه يحط طاقة عشان هالطريق خلاص حفظنا الطريق. It became a path. هذا هذا يعني اللاوعي العقل اللاوعي. Takes نعم. takes over عشان يحميك. Yes. yes. إحنا we call it the unconscious uh, part yes. of the brain. So it becomes unconscious part of your daily process. Because it is stored in the memory, hmm. in this part of the brain. Now to come to answer your question. Lesh, fi ahad al-kutub isma the Einstein Factor Book. Gal in shugl limbic brain, our mukh thanawi, self-preservation and preservation of the species. Himayat al-nafs awalan. وحماية السبيشيز اللي هو احنا as humans we yeah. want to protect نفسنا كبشر <تصفيق> قبل لا اكمل I need someone من الاودينس اي حد متزوج بس uh, يقول لي انه هو he is okay to participate with me in a quick uh, activity وابي حد يخاف من الكلاب. So if anyone who is married, happily married, would like to participate, please uh, either write for me in the chat. No, شنو؟ الاثنين هو ابوي. كوثر كوثر Happily married or afraid of dogs? Please just identify. Happily married? Okay, Khan also happily married. Okay, good. <laughs> Even Kawthar. Okay, I'm gonna have Kawthar and uh, and Khan for the for this activity. So I'm going to unmute you right now, and I'm going to ask you a question. All right, let me just. Or if you can unmute, unmute yourself. I unmuted. Okay, Khan and yes. Kawthar. Perfect. Okay, Khan and Kauther, are you fine for me to ask you some questions? Yeah, yes. sure, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, I'm going to give you some time to prepare, Kauther. <laughs> sure, no, no, I'm ready. Don't worry. Okay, good. All right, so both of you, do you love your partner? Yes. yes. Okay. Can you please share with me what is it that made you realize the day you decided to get married. Let me know how, how long have you been married as well, please. Uh, what is it that made you realize, okay, yes, this is the one. I love him or I love her <laughs> and I would love to live the rest of my life with this person. Uh, should, I, should I start or you? Go ahead, no, go ahead stop. Okay. Uh, really? However okay. your emotions come out for it, go ahead. <laughs> All right. أكتر حاجة طبعا جذبتني لي لما قلت إن أنا بحبه yeah. آه كنت في الوقت دوت عندي مشاكل كتير وحسيت إنه وقف جنبي وقفة كبيرة قوي okay. بلس إنه طبعا كمان كان في انجذاب يعني عاطفي okay. بعد لما بدأنا النكست ستيب أكتر حاجة جذبتني فيه هو عملية الشيرينج And I love the sharing part. Okay. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'm going to just take you back to the safety part. So uh, to, to when you had problems and you felt he was around you. 
Yeah. Okay. So is it is it safe for me to say to say that you felt safe with him being around? Yes. I always feel safe and secure when he's around. Okay. Thank you very much, Kalsar. You're most welcome. Okay. Khan? Uh Zakaha, Jamalha. Okay. Now all of those hey the sifat fiya. I'm talking about you now. You, when you this what did she make you feel that made you decide this is the one? So all of what you gave are things. See, see that... uh, uh, any any person who wants to get married always put certain criteria and specifications for for the for the partner. Absolutely. Okay, uh, it is quite coincidence or quite somebody to be very fortunate to find these qualities. In, in this person, whether I don't want to say whether it's in, in, in his or her first try or the second try. First would be a miraculous to find the perfect match. So it happened with me that I found the qualities I was looking for in this person at the right time. Amazing. So what do those, those qualities represent to you, Khan? So if I'm going to ask you to name those what those qualities represented to you not what are the qualities but what did they represent to you as Khan? well uh, i feel that the kind of uh, missing part completed me okay alhamdulillah that i feel lucky to be married uh, uh, with with my with my wife and uh, i i know and she knows that uh, Alhamdulillah, I don't want to elaborate a lot, but it's a perfect match. Okay, good. All right. So I, I don't see you, but from the tone of your voice, I will, I'm, I'm guessing that you have a nice smile on your face, face both of you. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you very much for, for your openness and for sharing, sharing with us. So here is the reason why I asked you. And here is the reason why probably Khan, and let me, let me know as well if, if I, have, I have the right interpretation. Um, what we have in front of us here is what we call the Pluchik wheel of emotions. So Pluchik, um, he's a scientist and he basically made a lot of research and a psychologist and he made, made the research on what are the emotions that drive us as human beings in our day-to-day -day life to, to, to do what we do either on a daily basis or in times when things are difficult. What are those things that drive us? And based on his research, he came up with this model, which is called the Pluchik Wheel of Emotions. And he speaks about the main eight emotions, which is in the middle circle. So just let me come back to the circle here. So <coughs> this is the middle circle that he speaks about, which I am marking right now. So the one which has joy, trust, fear, surprise, sadness, disgust, anger, anticipation, and joy. Do you see love in any of the main eight emotions? No. In all of them. No, but do you, do you see the term love? No. Where no. is love in the circle? Way outside. It's way out. Way outside. So. With, be, between acceptance and sincerity. Between joy and trust. So this is, when we speak about the main eight, Hamza, it's the one in the middle. So mm. joy, trust, fear, surprise, sadness, disgust, anger, anticipation. So between joy and trust, that's where love starts to get evolved. So the, how the circle works is the more intense the emotion is, the more you go inside the circle. So when you are inside, the emotions are to an extreme intensity. As you go outside, the emotions intensity start to decrease. So when you see people who are able to tell you that I'm able to talk to my partner about anything at any time, and when they are around, even if things are bad, I always feel happy. So basically they are reflecting joy and trust. 
when you ref- when you start to think about the things that you you all shared when I was asking you the question, safety, sharing, beauty, um, the knowledge, um, the the intellectual connection, all of those things reflect that in difficult times you are able to have a very open and honest conversation with the person that you're with, which reflects trust. And regardless of the time in your life, when you are with that person, there is something that still gives you that contentment deep down inside that you still feel in the toughest time, you're still able to put a smile on your face when you look at that person. And that's amazing where the... that you're reading our mind. <laughs> Sorry? Exactly. <laughs> I said, so, amazing I mean, that, that you're reading our mind and interpreting our relationship. Yes. Uh, so so this, this actually took a lot of research, uh, Khan, to be honest. Like when, because I have a lot of clients, I, I do coaching on, on the side as my, as my work as well. And unfortunately, there is a lot, the, 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 the cases of divorce are on the rise. And the cases now as well, you can see in, in COVID-19, when people are stuck at home, the cases of physical abuse as well are, are on the rise. And when, we, when I started to coach the clients on, on those scenarios who are going through divorces or are going through difficulty in their marriages, the, the, the thing that was very obvious is, give me a bit of a brief about the relationship with the person you're with. And when you mm. ask that question, they either tell you, it's really nice and amazing when they're around, but I'm not able to share with them when there is something bad. Or they tell you, I'm able to share everything that is really bad with that person because I know they always got my back. So what about the good times? Well, you know, like good times are always there. So it's not important that that person exists when things are happy, which represents joy. But when joy is not an essential part of the person being around, then there is something wrong. And the reason why people basically fall prey to the wrong definition of saying that they're in love with someone is because they are very disconnected from their emotions. And this, I can speak about it from my, like my observation from our, our, our Arab world. What, uh, and if anyone can help me with this, so when a child or when a boy is crying, what's the first thing people tell him? It's good. In the Arab world, what do we tell them? <laughs> Thank you very much. In the Arab world, what do we tell them? It's a boy, okay. Right. Men do not cry. We do not realize that when we're doing that, we're putting pressure on kids to not connect with their emotions as they grow. And what happens is, the mental map that we're going to talk about later that starts to get created in my head, the equation I start to get get in my head is, if I cry, people will see me that I'm not a man and hence I shouldn't cry. So rather than trying to understand what's the reason behind this child crying, we tell them to compress it by the famous sentence of لا تصيح انت الرجال or ريال ما يصيح, men don't cry don't cry, you're the man of the house, and so on and so forth. And when we start doing that, we start to automatically build a taboo around all other connections, except the ones that reflect manhood, which is annoyance, anger, and rage. Those are that we can really very well show openly, it's fine, you do whatever, because that's how you reflect your manhood but you're not allowed to uh you're not allowed to um uh what do you call it reflect it in the right way uh, question no? yes uh i circled this ecstasy, ecstasy. Yeah. Uh, can can people reach this stage Absolutely. So I'm, I'm going, and so I'm, again, like what I'm sharing with you now is just my extra work put in from my clients and how I understand how the whole relationship around love works. So it actually starts at ecstasy and admiration. If you look at and go back in time and look at when you look at someone and you start to admire their beauty or you start to admire how knowledgeable that person is, 
آه لحظة عندي أيه. المصطلح العربي خليك معي حلو اوكي النشوة نشوة ايه نشوة بهجة صفاء نشوة نشوة أكثر نشوة السعادة يعني اي هي تبتدي الإكتسي إز النشوة السعادة اللي هي جوي الصفاء اللي هي السيرينيتي ف So again, so those are stages that we go through in our life. So it starts mm-hmm. off right over there. You look at someone, you see someone, you fall, in, you, you fall for their looks and how they look after themselves. You start to admire their beauty. You start to admire their knowledge. You start to connect on that level with those people. And as the relationship starts to, uh, to build up, you start to build that trust because... When you first start to know someone, you don't want to actually start off telling them what your problems are. Of course. Right? So you, you still are waiting to see, are they going to share something with me? Am I, is it safe? And that's when, 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 what, I, what I reflected in what Kauther told me. Safety. Mm. Is it safe for mm. me to share my problems with that mm. person? Mm. Uh, do they give me that sense of belonging? Which is... I'm still able to feel joy regardless of what I'm going through in my life. And as you live together, unfortunately, we reflected in the wrong mustalahat. Uh, and that's why, like, in Arabic, in linguistics, but it doesn't go. It's still... stays but it moves into another level where it is serenity and acceptance where you are at a point in your life where you have used up that fuel of admiration and ecstasy you've moved up to a bigger level of joy and trust either you stick in that phase or you still love each other but you move into a less intense place we get busy so on and so forth, but you still move into a nice place of serenity and acceptance, which still reflects love. But the love doesn't go away. Mm. But unfortunately, again, because we don't want to speak about emotions, we... It's a taboo. Yes, yes. We use... We, we do not realize how effective a simple word such as You're a man, don't cry. We don't even think for a minute. What are we building up in our, in our uh, children? So, uh, do we have any questions before I move forward? Go ahead, because of the time. Thank you. Okay, uh, I think, I don't know if Nof wanted to share something. So, Nof, if you wanted to yeah. share something, please let me know. Uh, I need a volunteer. No, if you're still up to volunteer, let me know. Someone who is afraid from dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay. So, this is my dog, by the way, everyone. His name is Ghost. I saw that. Cute dog. Thank you. So, no, imagine that Ghost... appears right behind you now. What oh my, you... I'm alone. Don't say that. Adatan, <laughs> 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 when you see a dog, how do you react? Uh, actually, I go through like the fight, of fly, a fight and a flight mood. You okay. know, I feel like mm. I want to run. I want to scream. I want to, I don't know what I want to do. Even like the cute little ones, I cannot see them. I just came back from the UK. You know, I was studying there. I cannot, yeah. I try my best, you know, to be as, cute as possible with them, but I cannot do it. It's impossible. <laughs> so what, so what do you do? Away. How do you react? So your flight and fight mode, what, what happens? So I feel like my heart rises like so fast. And then I feel like I want to, you know, I want to hold my, myself. I want to hug myself and run. <laughs> okay. So do you, do you run or do you stay in your place? No, I feel like I'm running, but in re- like in real life, I'm just, trying to 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 be away from the dog because okay. they told me it's offensive to do this in the front of the owners you know so i'm trying to be nice but <laughs> i cannot hide my emotions <laughs> perfect example okay so 
Here is what happens. I don't know if correctly if I'm wrong. Is there any history while you just don't like dogs? No, there is a history when I was eight years old. A dog you ran know, after me? You know, as kids, you, you're not afraid of animals. You love them. It's a natural thing. But when I was eight years old, I was in, in Paris walking with my parents. And then I felt like something was behind my, my, my foot. But I didn't, I didn't know what was it. When I turned my head, it was a dog like, uh, licking my, <laughs> the back of my heel. Okay. And then I imagined because of, you know, the cartoons and the things we're watching, you know, I felt like he's going to, he's going to bite my, my oh, legs yeah. or I'm going to have like injury or something. So it's stuck in my head until this day. I cannot get over it. I tried, right. but I can't. <laughs> Amazing example. Okay. So what happens when we spoke about the amygdala, we said what gets stored in the amygdala? The Emotion, memories. memory, and attention. So since you were eight years old, so before the eight years old, you had picked up the signals from the TV and from yeah. people what they told you that dogs might attack you. So you were okay. storing the information in your head. And it was getting stored in the amygdala. When... So, uh, يعني صار لها ملف أو, أو مكتبة. فيها معلومات عن عن الكلاب يعني عموما yes. يعني. So if لو كانت شافت افلام فيها الكلاب عادي و very friendly و they're nice it would have been stored that way in her head. Uh. لأن ما كان في any historical data in the brain. The brain يعني الله سبحانه وتعالى عطانا المخ لحمايتنا. لهالسبب لو انت تسوي اي شيء ضد الطبيعة دوم تحس مغص it has the gut galbuk it zid because you're doing something against yeah. your own safety so anything that has to do with your safety your brain starts to take quick action over. Yeah. now your emotions start to take over thank you so when she started to watch the tv unconsciously her brain was storing data that dogs are bad or mumkin he in the fridge or with her friends she was listening wallah flan adda chal be flan ma adri shu dogs are bad still storing information and data when the dog actually did come behind her feet hna gilna the cortex in time of danger the cortex skipped ma indi shay yitarjim li almaluma lish lan almaluma already mawjuda fil amygdala fa automatically ashan shi gilna al amygdala it's 80 80000 times faster فحتى لو قالوا لك لا تركض الكلب بيركض وراك if you run automatically you will run تمام <تصفيق> now you will run لو المخ started to store المعلومه ان كل مره احنا ركضنا فيها من الكلب وصلنا مكان we were safe وما عضنا الكلب ولا صابنا شيء in that case المخ بعد in the amygdala في الميموري you will store dog bad run خلاص ما في داعي افكر is this dog nice ولا this dog is not nice no need خلاص it is stored in my memory and in my emotion there is fear from dog dogs are bad hence run لين ما يصير عندي شيء او any time where i run from a dog and something bad happens سمح الله then my brain will start to question النمط اللي هو ركبه هل it is the best thing to do ولا is there a safer option فدائما المخ يختار النمط الأنسب حقي وعلشان هالشيء I don't need to think about it anymore مش محتاج العقل المفكر يكون جزء من هاي الحالة لأن أوردي عندي كل شيء أنا محتاجة stored in my amygdala وهذا اللي إحنا نسميه اختطاف العقل مشاعرك تختطفك إلى مرحلة أنت ما تقدر تفكر أو تركز أنت شنو قاعد تسوي عفوا هني هني كود جو يعني هني لما الإنسان يعصب مرة واحدة ويكون عنده ردة فعل ومن غير وبعدين يتحسف بعد ما يفكر بالموضوع ويوازنه يتحسف على ال ردة الفعل اللي سواها Absolutely لأن أنت مو بأنك أنت ما فكرت لا أنت 
الثوت بروسس عندك خلاص جون لانه عندك هيستوري مثل يعني شوف مثال بسيط جدا انت في شخص تحبه في الدوام وفي شخص انت ما تحبه yeah. يوصلك ايميل عنيف شوي من الشخص اللي تحبه اذا نتطلع على الموديل يو ويل جيت انويد يعني شوي بتضايق ليش يا اخي صح. جو مطرش لي هالرساله يعني yeah. جو از يوجوالي فيري نايس تعطيني عذر mm. ممكن ترد علي وانت زعلان وضايق بس ما بتكون حاد بالرد صح عكس لما يوصلك نفس الرساله نفس الايميل نفس الكلمات من شخص انت ما تحبه يو ويل جو تو ذا ريج يس اوتوماتيكلي هش يبي ذي الحين وعلى طول التكشيره على طول الرد بالكابس لوك وبالاحمر وبالاسود وبعدين عقب لنطرش الايميل وي ستارت تو ثينك ليش يا اخي وات ديد اي دو سو يور ثوت جيتس ديمينيشد اند يور ايموشنز ستارت تو تيك اوفر يور uh your drive yeah so basically hijacked you as you said exactly so we we call, we call it we call it emotional hijack so you get emotionally yeah. hijacked so and this is this is what we call the wheel of emotions yeah. or i think and i will i will focus on this today maybe hamza we can do the uh, mind the my mental map at another time madri if the people would like to still stay on but it's And yeah, I would like for yeah. people to leave with something really beneficial for them today. I had this model when I started almost seven years ago in emotional intelligence and coaching with emotional intelligence. The model, I was the weakest in the first competency in the model, which is enhancing emotional literacy. The emotional literacy was very bad. It was really low. Because we never connected with our emotions based on the community. Of course, we didn't have to connect with our emotions. ف اي بوت ذا موديل ايفريوير كان عندي عليه نمط اي ام نوت هابي ويز حطيت موديل في السياره لان اي يوز تو جيت رود ريج عصب وانا اسوق اف سم ون درايفز ان ا باد واي الحق اخلي الدوام اخلي الدنيا والحق لين بيت حطيت وحده على الثلاجه لانه وانا ام هابي اروح الثلاجه وانا زعلان اروح الثلاجه وانا معصب اروح الثلاجه اي يوز تو كيب ا جورنال يعني دوم عندي الجورنال ماي جورنال دايما وي اي And I write down everything I feel with the model, how mm. intense the emotion, what did I do? Ashan, I give my brain daiman ma'lumat. So when mm. you write stuff, and your eyes the process that we talked about, the information comes in, and it enters in the cortex. You need to write things down. Very true. So the one thing I want, I think, to send the message off to everyone is. كيف كيف نستخدم هالموديل اليوم؟ The one thing you need to understand and maybe we can we can dive deeper with Nalla on another day. But the one thing I need to send out the message to you is the more we become afraid لأن fear is one of the main emotions. It's one of the main eight emotions in the model. With the more we become afraid during the current situation قاعدين نغذي الجسم بهرمون اسمه كورتيزول. كورتيزول احنا طبعا ممكن نكون سمعنا عن الميديكال تيرم اللي هو كورتيزون اللي هو الدواء اللي يعطونا حق صح. الاشياء اللي ما حد عارف ليش تصير في الجسم يعطونا كورتيزون على طول تروح م. ومن جهه اتس جود بس سبحان الله الكورتيزول اصلا ماده اتس اوريدي برودوسد باي ذا بودي بس لان الجسم ما يستحمل هالماده بكثره الله سبحانه وتعالى مانع ان جسمك ينتج هالماده بكثره فانت الجسم يعطيك دروبس اوف كورتيزول في حاله الخوف يعني مثلا اذا حدا بيخاف من الكلاب شاف كلب على طول الجسم يعطيك كورتيزول ويعطيك ادرينالين عشان لو بتركض يو ران فاستر الكورتيزول شنو شغلته الكورتيزول يخفض ال الفانكشنز في الجسم اللي انت مو محتاجها في هالوقت يعني احنا وي كان ورك وذ ون كيدني ف عشان ما... عشان يصير في تركيز حق القبه مثلا ابسولوتلي تركز <تصفيق> الانرجي على رجولك انك انت تتحرك او انك انت تتضارب سو يجيف يو مور انرجي تو فايت فاحنا جسمنا معمول لين توصل مكان امان ويطلع الكورتيزول من الجسم لو احنا من تم نغذي نفسنا وافكارنا خوف انت قاعد تعطي جسمك كورتيزول بكثره كل الوقت <تصفيق> شانك عندك مدير في الدوام ما تحبه وكل يوم تتحلطم تصحى من النوم خايف ما تبي تروح الدوام كورتيزول 
وانت راقد مو مو بطايع ترقد مثل الناس كورتيزول ذا مور يو جيف كورتيزول تو يور بودي بيكوز يو ار ستريسد اند افريد يو ويل ستارت تو جيت سيك من غير ما تعرف سو راذر ذان تكون خايف من كوفيد تصير لا سمح الله في مصيبه ثانيه ليش؟ بيكوز يو ار فيدينغ يور سيلف فير لازم ان احنا نفهم ذات وي هاف سيركل اوف كنترول اند سيركل اوف كونسيرن نركز على الاشياء اللي احنا نقدر نسويها اليوم الحكومه اليوم تقول لنا قعدوا في البيت نقعد في البيت لان اتس فور يور بروتكشن اند فور ذا بروتكشن اوف ذا ميديكال بوديز اند ال ال كفر ذس از ويل ليتر حمزه But yeah. the one message I wanted to send to everyone is: the day that has children and is saying to the children, "Well, it's hot and it's hot and we're making fun of them." Remember, the children had their own country in the morning. You were in the school, and they were in the school. They were able to do what they wanted to do in the school. Right. Because in the school, they didn't have this control that you were doing on them. Suddenly. <تصفيق> الحين انت قاعد وياهم 24 ساعة فالستريس اصلا عليهم الستريس مو عليك. They are the ones that are stressed. كانك انت في الدوام من 7 لين 4 ترجع البيت تحصل مديرك بعد في البيت. It's yeah. literally the same concept. So think about it this way who is actually having more stress. ولو ما عندك عيال you have the gift of time as you started off حمزة. Yeah. Think about how many times you woke up وما تبي تقوم من السرير يا رب yeah. لازم اقوم اروح الدوام ما ابي اروح الدوام yes. think about those moments and use it for the betterment of yourself i will close off with this sorry طولت عليكم انا اسف جدا لا بس... بالعكس مستمتعين جدا ومعلومات جدا قيمه وتساعدنا في الوقت هذا اللي احنا فيه مشكور على وقتك ومشكور أمين. على المبادره واشكر كل الحاضرين انا ودي اشارككم بقصه قصيره وبعدين نختم. طبعا هذول اثنين مانكس اكيد تعرفون القصه هذه بس نذكركم فيها. اثنين مانكس ماشيين رايحين على المعبد مالهم مره ولقوا بنت صغيره لابسه مشيكه باحلى شياكه لابسه لبس بس قاعده على الطرف تبكي. راحوا لها قالوا شنو ليش تبكين؟ شو المشكله مالتك؟ كانت تقول لهم انا يعني وليش لابسه اللبس هذا الحلو والجميل والتبكين؟ قالت لهم انا رايحه احضر عرس صديقتي في فرح اوكي بس اللي صار انه امس طق مطر والستريم مال المي انت بديت في حركه المي وشلون احنا المفروض نكون فلكسبل فمر المي الحين هي ما تقدر تعبر المي هذا عشان ملابسها وجوتها فقام احد المونكس هذيلا او ما ادري يسمونهم راهبين شالها وعبرها الستريم هذا البسيط وراحت راحوا مشوا هذا الصديقه يقول له ليش انت تشيلها هم عندهم سبوزدلي يعني البليف مالهم انه هو ممنوع يجيس البنت ويشيلها yeah. فقال له ليش يشيلها؟ قال له والله هي احتاجتني وهذا وشلتها بعدين بالليل وهم بينامون راح لهذاك مره ثانيه يساله يقعد يقول له فلان فلان انت شلون شلت البنت؟ قال له انت انا شلت البنت خمس دقائق انت للحين شايلها براسك فمرات احنا نشيل اشياء مثل هذه بغض النظر يعني كلمه تنقال لنا من شخص او 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 طريقه نظره لنا من شخص معين ونشيلها براسنا لمدى الحياه ربما شغله صارت من عشر سنوات انت شايلها وياك ليش؟ ما له داعي صح صح فهذه هذه يعني قصه نختم فيها مشكورين شباب تسلم حمزه ثانك يو فيري ماتش اف اني ون هاز اني كويستشن بليز جو اهيد اف نوت وير جوينج تو كلوز ذا سيشن ثانك يو فيري ماتش كوثر شكرا كوجو شكرا حمزه ثانك يو خان ثانك يو ثانك يو خان ثانك يو افضل ثانك يو كوثر ثانك يو وليد ثانك يو ايفري ون فور بينج وذ اس نو ثانك يو فور يور بارتيسيبيشن يو ميد ات وعلي You made it uh, very interactive. Thank you, uh, Coach Joe. Uh, Thank you very much. I really learned a lot from this session. And we hope we all apply these things and control ourselves and, and how our emotions are, uh, are, are influencing what we do, whether we be successful or not. 
Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Hamza. And inshallah, we'll have a part two and we will communicate inshallah with, uh, with you uh, about it. Thank Just, you. Thank uh, you. Kautar, very much, you want to say Joe. something? Thank you. Please, no, I okay. want to share Bewishi, you know, I'm really excited and it was really interesting. Get them. Thank you very thank much. You. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very thank much, Joe. Thank you. Hamza Taban, thank you very much. Hey, welcome. Taban, you are doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here and thank you for your support. Tahiyati lil kill. Ma'as salama. Ma'as salama. Thank you. Ila al-liqa. Ila al-liqa. Thank you.